Hey guys! What is the sound? Let me turn it off. Give me a quick second. Something's incredibly loud. Is that the game? <laughs> there was the Pokemon Go game sound. I was not familiar with it. Oh man. <laughs> I was like, what is this music? I never have the Pokemon Go music opened up. Okay, there we go. Oh, man. What a day it's been. We are almost here, guys. We are almost here. Whew. Um, so, to start this one off, let me... To start this one off, I, I've been meaning to start streaming earlier. But the truth of the matter is... I fell asleep. <laughs> I cannot make more of it. I, I, I literally, I went, I went to watch the new iDubs content co-op. I was like, oh, it's half an hour of a video. Let's get refreshed. Let's take a little bit of a drink. And I just like fell asleep. Because yesterday and today, I have gathered pretty much over a million experience while walking back and forth at my local grinding spot for pretty much 25 to 30 kilometers which I'm completely not used to getting a massive amount of stardust getting a massive amount of experience and right now it's put me at a point where I am able to get to level 40 for the second time when you take a look at lifetime experience. I know a lot of you guys are confused because a lot of you are saying like, Hey, reverse your level 40 already. You had level 40 10 months ago on the 31st of December. And, and you guys are like, but how do you, what do you mean by level 40? Well, what I mean by level 40 is if you have 20 million experience in Pokemon Go, it brings you from level zero or level one to level 40. And as you can see, I'm a 39.9 million experience. So we need 100,000 experience more to actually reach this. Actually a little bit less. So it's going to be, uh, we're, we're going to hang out for a little bit. We are going to uh, op activate a lucky egg. And I'm, I'm going to be doing a bunch of evolves. I have some interesting evolves for you guys today. I also have a bunch of Pidgeys, I, I guess. So yeah, let's go out and get right into it. I don't want to waste more of your time. I'm going to go uh, by number. I'm going to type in Evolve because then it brings up all the Pokemon you have. And I deliberately have over here 5,001 Pidgey Candy, which obviously is going to be uh, ma less right now. OMG, I thought I did good with 25 million experience. I was wrong. No, you're doing great. You're doing great. You're doing great. This man needs some help. Nah, I'm fine. I'm completely fine. Hashtag save your candies, right? Did you miss it? No, you did not miss it. You did not miss it. So we're just going to evolve everything right now. <clears throat> when is Gen 3 coming? So I'm hearing, I'm hearing rumors about Halloween... Releasing like a portion of Gen 3. I'm not sure how much of it I believe. It's not from any like credible source or, or anything like that. Except for the one massive hint that uh, that Pokemon actually dropped. The official Pokemon site. Um, it makes me believe that it's mostly targeted towards people that, uh, that don't play Pokemon Go a lot. And that, want to, that, that still need Ghost types to complete their Pokedex. I, uh, I checked actually in with Nick uh, from Trainer Tips and he kind of shared that perspective there. So, yeah. But will you do another Emerald stream? Uh, soon. Soonish. Ho oh. Ho oh would be terrific, actually. I was actually pretty happy with Ho oh if, if that were to be a thing. How close are you getting to level 40 for the second time? I'm like. 90,000 experience away, so I'm gonna have to evolve for at least half an hour or something like that. Hey, Otaku, what's up? Hope you're well, Raf. Thank you. I'm, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. 
Um, the first half an hour is, is obviously going to be just Pidgeys, just so let you know. The first half an hour, uh, if you're planning on the, if you're like, hey, where are the interesting evolves? The, the first half an hour is just me chatting it up with you guys and then doing Pidgeys. That's literally what it is. I'm actually setting a timer right now. Uh, 28 minutes. That's literally what the first half an hour is. Is this a different account? No, it's not. It's my main account still. Shiny Ghastly calling it? That'd be kind of nice, honestly. Is it worth getting more experience after 20 to 25 million? It really depends. Some people think it's worth it. A lot of people think it's not worth it. To me, it is. To me, it is. I, I definitely enjoy getting more experience inside of the game. So, yeah. How many Pidgey have you caught last week? Um... Almost a thousand. I'm actually surprised I'm not soft banned today. Uh, I was really close on hitting the cap or 3,500 Pokemon. I'm like really close on getting soft banned in the game, but I didn't get soft banned, so yeah. Uh, the ability to lure up gyms is a good idea. Yeah, I would love that idea. Like, I would love to have the ability to lure up a gym. That'd be amazing. Smurgle Raid Boss, Delibird Raid Boss. I mean, Delibird is such a cool Pokemon. It looks really nice. Um, if Delibird, like, if I were to get my hands on a 100% IV Delibird, I would most likely, you know, max it out. Also, I, uh, as I went through my inventory yesterday, I accidentally transferred a 100% IV Larvitar. But I do have another one. I do have another one. It's just. I was just like so tired yesterday that I just had to kind of go through my inventory and then get rid of the Pokemon that I didn't need or was going to evolve. And I forgot to favorite the, the one of the 200% Larvitars that I've gotten. So uh, yeah, one of them is gone. Like, uh, let me show you. Let me show you. I'm, I'm going to show you. You see this Larvitar? You guys know I have another 517 Larvitar, but I accidentally evolved it, so... I accidentally transferred it, so yeah. Rip. It looks pretty salt. Pretty salty. But luckily for me, I do have another 100%, so... That's, like, not... It could have been worse. It could have, it could have been worse. Who has more XP? Your pe Poke AK. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, I, I don't watch the, the stuff, the content of Poke AK, so I wouldn't be able to know. <clears throat> what do you plan on evolving for this goal to be completed? I'm still depend. I'm still looking at it. I'm still. I'm still thinking about it. You guys are free to offer suggestions about like what Pokemon I should, you know, evolve or the way I should hit it. I was actually thinking of doing it on my, uh, my daily streak. Gengar? It has to be Gengar? Do I have the candy for that, though? I would, I would have to check in a little bit later. I would have to check a little bit later to see if, uh, if I have enough candy for that. Our content cup was great. It was funny. How much experience do you have in total? I am at 39.9 .9 million experience. Will I to upgrade the level to over level 40? I'm pretty sure they will at one point. I'm pretty sure they will at one point. I just, I just want to get over the level 40 thing. Like, having it reached a second time, like level 40 a second time, that is on a whole different scale. Than doing it once. So, yeah. You have enough candy for a small class? Uh, probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. Are EX raids uh, a guaranteed catch? No, they're not. They're not. Oh, he did it like four days ago. Dang. Well, I don't know. I see, I didn't know he, he hit it uh, two days ago. Four days ago. 
That that puts him like a hat from me, right? Um I don't know. I'm hoping to be level 43 or something like that. <laughs> oh, here is it. Poke AK. Yeah, Poke AK actually reached it twice. That's pretty insane. 40 million experience would be more likely to level 50. No, it wouldn't, because the last level, from level 39 to level 40, is 5 million experience, so I have 20 million on top of level 40, so most likely it would be like 4, if, if every level is like 5 million, it would most likely be 4, or like 3 levels that I'll actually gain. So yeah. At 50 million experience, I hope to hit 20 million by New Year's Eve. Oh, you can do it! You can do it! You can definitely do it. Do you think uh, Super Incubators will be available in shop? I don't know. I hope so. That'd be kind of cool. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. You guys are so great. It's been such a long time coming, though. Hello? Thank you. Level 40 hype. <laughs> Level 80 hype. I finished my road to level 40 yesterday, inspired by you. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. You're welcome. Reversal merch. I don't know if that's gonna be a thing. We'll see. I want to reach 50 million experience by the end of this year, but we'll have to see about that. <clears throat> hey, DJ, what's up? I saw you got a 6th Pokemon Go Plus, what happened to the other one? It broke. <laughs> Again. But this last one seems to be working pretty nicely, so I'm very happy with that. Do a phase review. Phase review at uh, 400k subs, that's when I'm gonna do a, a phase review. We'll do one soon. You're still walking uh, 10 to 20k a day. Yes, actually, uh, let me show you what I've done. I don't know if I can actually showcase, but... Uh, so yesterday... You cannot really see it, but yesterday I walked 26.47 26 kilometers. And then today I actually derped out, and during my break, after my break, I forgot to uh, press like resume again, so it didn't accumulate like six kilometers or something like that. So I actually walked, no, I actually walked a little bit more today than I did yesterday, and my feet are, are dead. Uh, they're literally like rip. I'm just happy that I got good supportive shoes to walk that amount of distance because I'm not used to that. I'm not used to walking these amounts. I need to get used to it. Like, you don't get to, like, 20 kilometers of walking if you've never done it, if you barely ever do it, and then suddenly you start doing these walks uh, with quite the intensity, I may want to add. Like, I'm walking about between... I'm, I'm, I'm walking close to 5 kilometers an hour, which is pretty fast, like it's pretty, it's a brisk walk, and if you're doing that for several hours, like, and you're not used to it, then you, uh, <laughs> your, your feet start to give out at a certain point, so my plan is that after uh, today, I actually want to be walking 10 kilometers each day, or 15 kilometers each day, but I'm gonna start doing that the day after tomorrow, because obviously right now, uh, my feet are just dead, and I need a day of a break or something like that, so yeah. But other than that, I'm, I'm excited. I'm really excited to uh, to get in, in better shape. 
it feels great to walk outside and play Pokemon Go. And also, I want to let you guys know, um, it's, it's part of my vlog, so I haven't really, like, discussed it outside of Twitter. But every egg hatch that I'm doing in the game right now, since yesterday, yesterday I started at 2175 egg hatches. Every egg hatch that happens after 2175 means that there's one dollar that's going to be donated to a charity that you and me are going to be deciding on a little bit later this year. So that's something that I'm going to be doing. Uh, and I'm excited for that because it will motivate me to, to walk even more. So yeah. Congratulations, now you're a walker. <laughs> Thank you. Are you excited about the Halloween event? Yeah, for sure. Reversal is Giraffic a 5km or 10km egg? It's a 5km egg, but I haven't hatched one yet. The Walking Rev. 100 million experience by this time next year. Um, no. Uh, so my plan for next year is a little bit different. I actually want to... Um, I basically... What do I want to do again? I wanted to conduct a little experiment and... Oh, hey! The Nighttime Clasher, $20 donation, a dollar for every kilometer you walk, well done. Thank you so much, man, I appreciate that. Shout out to you. As you guys can tell, I have kind of a sniffly nose, and that's because I, uh, I walk through the rain and walk through the cold and everything like that. So, uh, I'm probably going to be sick tomorrow. But, um, it's worth it. It's, it's completely worth it. How long till you reach level 40? Um, probably in, like, an hour from now. To be realistic with you. Did you start losing weight? About 3,000 kilometers walk. Okay, so I want to talk about my plan for next year. Okay? So, there's two things that could potentially happen. Uh, in Pokemon Go. Uh, thing number one is there's not going to be a level cap increase. And if that is the case, then I'm going to start a free-to-play account and get to level 40 with that. But there's another project that I want to do. And that project is completely insane. It is on a whole new level. It is like, if you thought the road to level 40 or reaching level 40 in Pokemon Go is crazy... Then I got news for you guys, in uh, most likely a couple of months from now, I'm going to be starting off a brand new Pokemon Go account, and I'm going to reach level 40 from level 1 in one month. That is 666,000 experience every single day. I know it's possible, it's just I need to get a little bit into walking shape in order to do that. So that's why I started walking like that. So yes... One month. It's going to be expensive. It's going to be expensive. But I am going to be doing it. And I'm going to show case it to you guys that I'm actually going to do it. But I need to do some preps in order to do something like that. So we're going to have to see when that's going to be going down. I'm going to have an editor who's going to be editing every single video that I'm going to be making about doing that. I'm going to be lucky agging 24-7. I'm most likely going to be playing like 12 hours a day or something like that in order to reach that. You know, it's going to be pretty crazy. And I've decided, because right now I am a part of Team... I'm part of Team Mystic. The level 1 to 40 account within one month is going to be a Team Valor account. And then after that, if there's not going to be a level cap increase... I'm going to be starting off a Team Instinct account and then do level 1 to level 40 completely free to play. So those are pretty much the like major projects that I got for myself uh, in the upcoming year for Pokemon Go, uh, to be fair. So I, I really think Valor is about like, poof, like kind of being in your face and stuff. Like Valor has uh, the, like the fiery, you know, desire to, to accomplish something. That's what I associate Team Valor with, at least in my city, like, Team Valor is kind of booming. So, I just figured that, uh, you know, grinding Pokemon Go like that way is the more appropriate way, and then I feel Team Instinct is kind of, like, more calculated and more, um, how do I put it, like, 
just calm, patient. Uh, we've got a couple of really dedicated Team Instinct players around our city as well. So that's where I kind of associate like a free-to-play account with to reach level 40. Uh, the only kind of handicap that I will be having on that account is that I'm just going to max out my storage space. Uh, and that's about it. So yeah. Oh hey, we got another donation. We got... Oh Vic! Just wanted to stop by and show support. Oh man, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much, my dude. Appreciate it. $10. Can we get some love in the chat for uh, my good buddy Vic right there? And of course, the Nighttime Clasher as well. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And most likely, um, most likely, <laughs> I don't even know if I want to say this, but... I think that I'll be reaching level 40 on the brand new account faster than Nick on my Team Instinct free-to-play account because, well, Nick is not so much of a grinder. So I'm hoping to beat him on that other account, but we'll have to see about that. <laughs> I'm going to give myself like 8 months for that. <laughs> you probably beat me to level 40 maybe maybe yo hybrid what's up wow bragger <laughs> can we evolve Mew to Mewtwo no you cannot Where can I get a hold of you for business? Check out my uh, about page on YouTube for business. Okay, we've got about 11 minutes left and then the Pidgey evolves. Uh, and then my lucky egg is going to run out. And then we're going to take a look where we're at. Brandon Tan says cute. Yeah, probably. Can you name all Gen 1 Pokemon? Um, probably I, I can, but not the top of my head, hat like that. <clears throat> you just used over 1 million Stardust? Man, I'm saving up all of my Stardust. In celebration of reaching level 40 again, I am going to be maxing out one Pokemon. Completely from bottom to top. Like, we're going to completely max it out as much as I can. So that should be really cool. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. And we're going to do that after we reach level 48 once again. How much longer do you think it will take Mystic 7 to reach level 40? Uh, I don't know. It it will it won't take him that long anymore. Like he's already level thirty eight, right? <clears throat> you need to spend seventy five to one twenty five US dollars a day to reach level forty in one month if you play eight to ten hours daily. Yeah, I'm fully aware of that. Uh, Pokemon trainer Milton. Oh, Dragon SRT with the $1 donation. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Hey, Reversal. Thank you. I hit level 40 today for the first time. Congrats on hitting it the second time. Thank you, Fumi once. Thank you, thank you. I'm actually so happy I also managed to reach uh, two, two million starters. <laughs> Take a look at my starters. We got one and a half million starters during this event almost. Can I still get a raid pass from YouTube? I, I think so. I think so. <sighs> yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm kind of have a slippery low, so I'm going to stay home tomorrow. Get better. You know, recover a little bit. Because I've been out playing too much. EX is still in field testing phase. You will have time. I hope so. No, I have one account right now. I have one account. What's your prediction on Gen 3 release? Uh, I don't want to say too much. 
Oh, no music. Dang. Oops. I'm here by myself listening to music. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry that the music turned off. Why didn't you guys tell me the music turned off? Go Valor team! Just saying Valor is the best, so flexing here <laughs> on all you other teams. When do you think the next EX Ray passes will go out? I think the next couple of days, honestly. Uh, and also, once again, thank you so much for the generous donation. There we go. Can we see your experience? Yes, in seven minutes. When my lucky egg runs out, I'll show you my experience. So, please stay put. There we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, but I do want to emphasize the fact that um, what happened then with Gen 2 is not going to be the same as Gen 3. So, you know, take that into consideration. <laughs> yep. Music louder. Can you solo my champ with your Aspion team? Um, maybe... No, probably not. Probably does too much damage. <laughs> you think that the Halloween event will be good? Also, what's your favorite event in Pokemon Go so far? Um, my favorite event in Pokemon Go has been Pokemon Go Fest and just everything around it. Like, everybody getting... Oh, that's a little bit too loud. Um... Everything around it, I guess. The... All the... Uh, we basically got every single event inside of the game. Which that on itself was really insane. Uh, so I, I'm, I was happiest with that one. Whoa. Oliver! Welcome! Oliver joining in the spawns team. Thank you so much, my dude. I appreciate that a lot. If you want to become a sponsor, make sure you check out the link in the description down below. It gives you access to the exclusive sponsor chat as well. And that way, you're actually going to be appearing in this particular YouTube video stream right here. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll be running for the first Agra, Moltres, Blaziken, and the Celebi that spawns without hesitation. Yeah, for sure. Yes, the orange, again. Yeah, I think Dallybird's gonna be Christmas. It has to be. If I were to sponsor, I'd just spam the chat. Well. Gen 3 and 4 at the same time, that is extremely unlikely, but that'd be cool. Thank you, uh, Milton. Pokemon Trainer Milton. <clears throat> I honestly hope they don't release Gen 3 in batches. Like, it's that, that would suck, honestly. Like... I just want Gen 3. Like, I just want the Pokemon. All of the Pokemon. I just want them available. Just like how Gen 2 dropped. Suddenly, all Pokemon were available. I want the same thing with Gen 3. Like, I don't want, like, a limited amount of Pokemon that suddenly starts spawning, like, a lot. That's dumb. Like, that's the worst thing Niantic can do. Like, that's just stupid. However, though. However. If Niantic were to be making it... That they're only releasing a limited amount of Pokemon, but then make all Pokemon shiny as well, like available to us. That 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 not then we're talking, you know. Then then it's completely fine. Then I didn't say anything, but you know, I just hope I just hope that they're gonna release everything at once and not just do it in batch or something like that. So yeah, last time I didn't like that. Last time, honestly, sure I got every single. All of them pretty quickly. But uh, Valorium with the $5 donation saying Salamance, Salamansa, please. Yes, for sure. 
Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Let's evolve these as well. <clears throat> Whoa. Scott Silbernagel. Appreciate it, man. Welcome to the spawn stream. Glad to have you here. Appreciate the support, man. That is awesome. <laughs> Welcome, Scott. Hey, True Inferno. Good to see you. <clears throat> Pokemon Go has, found, has, has almost been at a point where it's really interesting uh, as far as the diversity of Pokemon concerned, right? Uh, once we get Gen 3, then we got such a large pool of Pokemon available at our disposal that even if you're bored with Gen 1 or Gen 2, you can just hop onto the Gen 3 Pokemon, go for those Pokemon. By the time those Pokemon are old, you automatically will be going back to Gen 1 Pokemon which are interesting or Gen 2 Pokemon that are interesting and then release of legendary Pokemon or just like certain seasonal Pokemon, you know, stuff like that. That'll, that will make things a lot of fun. Those are kind of the stuff that I'm looking forward to in Pokemon Go right now. <clears throat> you need help in raids? I'm sorry to hear that, man. I think we're gonna exactly end on these Pidgeys with a Lucky Egg. That's pretty insane when you think about it. You have an Entei 89% IV. Nice. I don't know what you're doing wrong. I don't think you're doing anything wrong. Maybe try a different IV calculator. Maybe you inputted the dust wrong? I don't know. I'm doing great. I have uh, a sniffly nose. <laughs> but uh, I'm doing great. Thank you. You have about 15,000 Pidgey Candy. That's pretty crazy, my friend. That's pretty crazy. People keep asking all these questions if he, as if he works for Niantic. Well, that's kind of what happens, right? I mean, that always happens, so yeah. Kind of used to it. Okay, 40 seconds left. There's only two more. So there we go. We're going to evolve these two. How much money have you spent on this game? I've spent plenty of money. I would never share the exact amounts because I don't I don't want to faint. I honestly don't want to look it up and, and faint. Like, I've spent so much in Pokemon Go that the moment I, I see the number, I will probably get a heart attack. So, I'm not doing that. So, I'm just going to say I spent a, a bajillion. I, I spent one jillion dollars. That's what I spent. Do you think that Niantic ever watches my videos? Yes, they do. They actually do watch my videos from time to time. Okay, here we go. That's all the Pidgeys, and I think my lucky... Yeah, my lucky egg just ran out. Sick. Let's see where we're at right now. We are currently at... Holy cow. We did 77,000 experience in one lucky egg. 77! Wow, okay, okay, uh, we're pretty close, let's catch this Hootoot, get my first day streak, almost got the accident, I've never done so much in a lucky egg, in a single lucky egg, I've never done so much before, there we go, six day streak, there we go, and not double stardust. How much put that makes me put that away? Twelve thousand more. This is it. Twelve thousand. Whoo, man! I need it. Twelve thousand. Let me change the mood a little bit here. Twelve million. I 
Not 12 million, what am I saying? 12,000 experience more, this is crazy. Oh snap! Holly Monster! Hey there! Thank you so much! Welcome to the sponsors team, Kali Monster, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. That is awesome. Okay, here we go. I have a couple of really cool evolves to do. The first one that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be evolving a Larvitar into a Tyranitar. Wait, I forgot to check how much... Uh... Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're gonna do a couple of really cool evolves here. Just for you guys, we're gonna be doing the best of the best evolves that I have that I sorta of got saved up here. Starting off with this Larvitar, we're gonna make a Pupitar. This is a perfect IV Larvitar. Perfect IV Larvitar here. Perfect IV Pupitar. And what is the CP going to be? You guys tell me in chat because I literally have no idea right now at this point. And it's coming in a couple of seconds here. Mr. Valorium joining in the sponsor team. I, it, it won't pop up right now. But uh, it, it will pop up. 2097 CP right here. That's crazy. And we're going to max this one out a little bit later in the stream as well. So we only have 10,000 experience to go. One thing that I want to, always wanted to do is we have a couple of magic arps here. I actually got myself my second shiny magic arp yesterday. Valorium, thank you, man. Welcome to the spawn team. Appreciate the support, man. That's awesome. There we go. I'm gonna evolve my very first shiny that I've ever gotten in the game into a Gyarados. I'm not gonna max it out, I just want a red Gyarados. I, I simply just want a red Gyarados, that's literally it. Shiny evolution right here. So that way we got a shiny Magikarp and a red Gyarados. This reminds me of Gen 2. Actually, I'm just gonna switch the name, of course. As in the second shiny. This is my second shiny is out of the game. Okay, let's see what we got as far as evolves confirmed. Uh, let's see. Let's do a Slowpoke. With a King's Rock into a Slow King. Yeah, that was my first shiny. That was my first shiny. Yeah, you did see a Pokemon named Scumbag. Those were basically Pichus. Uh, let's evolve a... Let's evolve an Alakazam. Let's make an Alakazam. Love Alakazam. An Alakazam. Let's make a Blissey. Alright, take care, hybrid. Thank you for tuning in. Making a Blissey as well. 1957. That is good enough of a CP for me. Let's make a Scizor. Scizor. I don't need this. I don't need to do this one. But I, I really wanted to 
gather a couple of really cool evolves in for my 40 million experience mark right here. I usually don't save a really cool Pokemon, but in this case, I kind of made a deception and tried to save as many cool Pokemon as I could. So over here, we got a Scizor. Um, I guess we'll just do an Eevee, a random Eevee evolution. You guys tell me, chat. It's it's gonna be either Vaporeon, Jolteon, or Flareon. Here we go. Scizor. Vaporeon. You guys are hoping for Vaporeon. It is gonna be Vaporeon. Yes, we did it. Nice. A celebration of Team Mystic. There we go. 2214 is not bad as far as CP concerned. Dan! We got a Dragonite evolution right here. I really saved the best evolutions for the last moment here. Sort to keep you guys in suspense and everything like that. There we go, Dragonite. Next up, we got Tyro. You guys tell me, what do you think it's gonna be? Hitmon Chan, Hitmon Top, Hitmon Lee? I have no idea. I literally have no idea what the IVs of this one is. I'm hoping Hitmon Top, that'd be cool. Yeah, it is Hitmon Top, nice. That is cool. Very happy with that, nice. Let's check the IVs real quick. Oh, let's see what our experience is. Two more! Okay, the next one is very special. This next evolution is very special to me. This next evolution is my very first. My very, very, very first. Shiny Pokemon. Over here we got Shiny Pikachu. Evolving it into a Shiny Raichu. You don't see this one very often. You do not see this one very often. Very psyched about this. There we go. Oh man, this looks cool. It's sunburned. It's a sunburned Raichu. So of course, over here, we're gonna have to change the name. To Ra I'm, I'm gonna do Raichu. There we go. And then last but not least, the evil 666 Hunter into the Gengar. And this Evolve will officially put us to level 40 for the second time in Pokemon Go. Oh man, there we go. Woo, level 80, boom. I want to see it. Here we go. There we go. We did it. 40 million experience. Oh, man. Dang. Wow. What, what a number. 40 million. The Nighttime Clasher. Thank you so much, man. Dang. We did it. We hit level 40 for the second time in Pokemon Go. It took us, it took us 10 months and four days to achieve this, uh, which took me longer than my first. Uh, I, I was way more hardcore. Um, so I, I'm gonna tell you guys what, what like was the case as we power up. We're gonna be maxing out uh, that 100% IV Larvitar here. This one over here. We're gonna max this one out. Take a look at this. It's a wonder, HP, attack, defense, exceeded my calculations. So, um, 52. That is insane. I don't wanna use my Stardust at all. I wanna save it for Gen 3. But for this one, we are kinda, you know, doing a little bit of an exception right here. So, um, basically, 
Uh, after I hit level 40 inside of Pokemon Go, uh, because there wasn't a whole lot of things happening. Like, I'm, I'm talking back in December, right? I'm talking in December. Once I hit level 40, uh, I was a little bit done with the game. I was a little bit done with Pokemon Go. I was no longer motivated to do anything. Because one, it was extremely cold outside. Like, it was extremely cold outside. I was so done with Pokemon Go for the meantime. At that point, I was just completely done with it. Because uh, I've been grinding for 10 days in the, in the most coolest situation I've ever been in playing Pokemon Go. So, uh, reaching level 40 at that time was just, it was just this, this insane feeling. Like, starting off the new year, uh, Landa Chibro, or Kybro, I'm not really sure, with $20, wow. And, and we also had the Nighttime Clasher with 40 as well. Wow, you guys are crazy. Thank you so much for that. Uh, shout out to you people. Um, I'm sorry I didn't really pay attention here because obviously, you know, I'm just in the in in the, in the moment here. But uh, thank you. I really do appreciate. It. That's insane. Um, but continuing the story here, after I reached level 40 inside of Pokemon Go, it's just like there was this sign of relief. And also, what you see at the left bottom corner is that the experience bar it stays full. So that's like really cool to see. Like it didn't reset. Like it, it wasn't gone. It it stayed there. And that was really exciting to me, so, you know. Tornitar, there we go. So that was the case, uh, and, and I, I, I was kind of dismotivated with Pokemon Go. And it took me two months or so to pick the pace back up again. It basically was when Generation 2 dropped, where I sort of got back in the game, but I didn't have that initial fire that I had once uh, playing Pokemon Go. So that was kind of like, it was a little bit concerning to be honest. But then, uh, I think it was in April when there was a double experience event. And I actually went to Denmark. Uh, in April, I had 22 million experience in April. So, um, yeah. At that point, I started actually playing more regularly again. And I started being more motivated with the game again. again. Uh, I literally gained like 3 million experience or so during that Easter event in, in Denmark. So I was extremely excited for that. And then all of the cool stuff started happening, right? Uh, Pokemon Go Fast, we go to United States, uh, and so on and so forth. So that was that was the thing, like, you know? And now I'm, I'm really excited for Pokemon Go. Like, I'm, I'm more... Like, I'm not even tired of Pokemon Go. Like, I'm so ready to keep on playing and to keep on walking. Uh, we're doing a little bit of a, a specialty, uh, specialty. I have invested a lot of money this event in this. Over here, Super Incubators. Now, before you guys go all crazy in chat, I, I want to share something with you here. So, basically, we bought a ginormous amount of Super Incubators. They turns that it's ending not any time soon. There we go. Um, I want to hatch all of these <laughs> um, before the end of the year. Um, and then every dollar that or every egg that I'm hatching, we're going to donate one dollar to charity. And we're already on over 90 egg hatches since yesterday. Uh, so we're currently on 92 egg hatches, and I'm just gonna keep on hatching everything, and I'm just gonna walk as much as I can, and we're gonna decide on the charity together that we're gonna be donating the proceeds too. So it's not just me investing in the side of the game, but it's also uh, taking a portion of the money that I'm earning on YouTube uh, and, and putting that towards a charity, so we can uh, support the victims in, in, in any uh, of the, the situations which happened recently. Uh, we have Las Vegas, we have Mexico, we got, we got Puerto Rico, we got so many crazy things happening right now. I want to do something for charity. Uh, at one point, I am also going to be doing like a little bit of a Christmas charity stream, I'm, I'm thinking maybe. That, that sounds like a really cool idea. So I, I want to use this platform not just for me to get more subscribers, get more viewers. That way I'm able to make a career for myself, but also do other things 
uh, help a little bit more in the world. So I am also thinking about stuff like that. So don't think like, hey, reverse just buy my Pokemon game. That's not like that. You know, it's not like that at all. I do think about serious topics, and uh, it's it's we live in a nasty world, but it, it's what it is, right? All we can do is uh, try and make the best out of it, and we do that right now by almost maximizing this Tyranitar going to be the best Pokemon I currently have inside of the game. It's gonna be insane. It's like crazy. How about you divide it to multiple? Oh my man, I'm 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 uh, I'm I'm gonna have to think about it. I'm gonna have to see. How we're gonna be doing that? I'm not sure. Uh, we'll have to see. But we're gonna decide on a charity cause in December. Uh, that's where well, I'll bring up the topic once again. It's right in October, um, and around December we're gonna be deciding on something like that. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna jump the gun too much. I kind of wanna like look into good ways to do this. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, we dove under 2 million starters. That actually makes me a little bit sad, not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want it. Like, look how expensive these upgrades are. 9,000 starters for just like 26 CP. You know, it's not necessary to do this at all in any manifestation, but I'm, I'm doing it anyway. Do I have enough candy even? Please tell me I have enough candy. It is 12 candy an evil, uh, a power up right now. Yeah, there we go. My first 3600 CP Pokemon right here. So, uh, what is the what is the best? Uh, now nah, I'm not doing a double power up. Um, what is the best move set on Tyranitar? You guys tell me in chat. We can actually allocate uh, some of the stuff here. Look at this. There you go. This Tyranitar. Officially reigning supreme. Bite Stone Edge? I actually already had that. What am I talking about? Bite Stone Edge. Okay. Let's try it out. Oh. Stone Edge. Fire Blast. Please. Stone Edge. No! <laughs> Bob Saget. <laughs> Come on. Bite. Yeah, there we go. Dang it. Oh, man. What a troll. What a troll. We know Bite Crunch is perfect for Mewtwo. It's, it's perfect for Mewtwo. <laughs> yeah, Bob Saget. Bite Crunch for that Mewtwo. I have the perfect Mewtwo counter right now. <laughs> Bob Saget. Yeah, I don't know. It just like slipped my mind here. 100% IV Larvitar right here. Oh man. I, I cannot believe we hit it. We actually hit it. Um, you know, in old regular fashion, uh, it doesn't end here. I still have some evolves to do. So that's exactly what I'm planning on. I'm not sure how many evolves I have left of stuff, but we're going to take a look right now. To see what we can actually evolve. Um, number. Let's do my number. We're gonna transfer all these Pidgeotto because I don't want to save and I don't want to use any more Pidgey candy that I've already used. I'm already under five thousand Pidgey candy. I'm gonna have to spend the uh, next couple of days trying to get that back. So there's that, of course. Show your top Pokemon. I will. I will do that in a second here. I'll take some time here to. Uh, to do the most important part. Man, I, I still cannot believe we actually hit it. We actually hit 40 million experience. I'm going to use Bob Sackett now. That's perfect. <laughs> oh, it was such an unintentional thing, though. You gotta do a Raikou raid? Enjoy yourself, man. That's awesome. Oh, we got a Tadiorsa. There we go. I actually hatched this one. This was the, the final Pokemon that I uh, needed to hatch from all of the eggs that were available in the game. I have hatched so many Porygon. I've hatched so many Slowpoke. So many Remoraid. So many Porygon. They were crazy. 
Have you guys had the same thing that you keep getting Porygon, Slowpoke, uh, and, and uh, Remoraid? Because, man, I... Standler as well, yeah, jeez. Standler. Oh, dang. Oh, Standler. So many Standler as well. It's pretty insane. So many Tarok. Yeah, I didn't mind Tarok too much. I, I didn't mind Tarok too much. <clears throat> you hashed a perfect Remoraid during the event. I see. I see. Yeah, I kept getting Sander as well. You got lots of Aerodactyls? Wow. I, I did not get a lot of uh, Aerodactyls. Actually, yesterday I hatched three Aerodactyls, but those were the only three Aerodactyls that I hatched uh, during the event period. So, yeah. I, I want to show you guys something cool. I actually have more Aspion now. I'm going to show you. Take a look at this. The Espeon army build up to nine Espeons right now. I'm really excited for that. This is cool. Um, I've been working hard to get all of these uh, Espeons. So, uh, I'm actually going to name this one. Uh, until this Pokemon is actually in the game, we're going to call this one... Uh, Del Caddy. I want some cool Espeon names. You guys drop them in chat. What are some cool uh Third Eye? I want some cool Espeon names. Take Umbreon. <laughs> SP off. Purple cat. <laughs> Purple cat. That's nice. Foxy. Yeah. Not me out. <laughs> Not me out. <laughs> this is fun. Not me out. <laughs> How much do we got left? We got two more left. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we got one more. We got one more. <laughs> A sponge, nah. Del Caddy. I already got Del Caddy. I haven't seen the name yet. Meow stick, nah. Fatty cat, nah. Split bread, nah. Oh my days. Hmm. Indigo. <laughs> Cheap Mewtwo. <laughs> Cheap Mewtwo, nah. Triple eye cat, nah. Russian caddy. Espionage, I already got that. Fake ditto. No, I want one funny good name. It needs to be a funny name. Kitty dog. Frieza. <laughs> Catnip. Almost. Almost. It doesn't fit. Where was the comment? J 
Jar Jar Sphinx. There we go. This is our collection of uh, of espions. <laughs> there we go. We got them done. I don't think we got much more to evolve. Yeah, Chansey, Eevees, yeah. Wow, we, we did everything we could do. That's crazy. Uh, I'm so happy with everything we've done. Wow. I can show you some statistics, I guess, if, if you like. Um, you guys wanted me to showcase my top Pokemon, of course. Yeah, show your top Pokemon right here. Thought slow mo was turned on. Name your hundred percent IV Tyranitar. Uh, I honestly. I don't know what I'd name my 100% IV Tyranitar. I don't. I don't really like. Kind of want to give it a name. I, I, I'm gonna have to. I'm undecided on exactly what I want to be. Honestly. Oh, sure, you're far fetched. Yeah, sure. I have seven of them. Oh yeah, wait. There we go. What's the name? Ask. Someone donated uh, $25 for it to be named Ask. I mean, if I want to go completely sell out, if you donate 250 you can become this Tyranitar. But, um... <laughs> no, I'm just messing. I'm just messing. I don't think I want to actually name it. I just want to keep it Tyranitar, I guess. Yen. If you see my giant Tyranitar macaron cookie on Twitter, perfect timing for your perfect Tyranitar. Throwback to the Charizard that you incensed. Oh, dang, that was painful. <laughs> Call it Mr. Mime. Uh, <laughs> there we go. For now, it's named Chuckle. A uh, good move set on Gengar is a uh, Shadow Claw, Shadow Ball. Hey, Reverse, how are you? I'm doing great. Ali Reza, I'm doing great. Charmatini. Who in chat should I ask out on a date, Reverso? Ask uh, Aelita1234 on the date. I'm pretty sure she'll be happy to join you for Pokemon hunting date. Mr. Mr. Mime. I don't think Mr. Mime is a funny name for her. For uh, my perfect Rangitar. <laughs> yeah, Shadow Claw's legacy moveset, so you're not able to get it. Call your Tyranitar Pidgey. 
You know what is funny as well? I had exactly enough evolves. Well, one more, I guess. One or two more. Exactly enough evolves to, um, to get to 40 million. Like, exactly enough. No one likes you, Reverso? Who of you guys like me? Like, tell me. Tell, tell, tell Eric. Who, who, who likes me? If, if you like me, then type 1 in chat. If, if you don't, then, you know, don't say anything, you know. <laughs> oh, you just got dissed, Eric. <laughs> hey, I like you guys, too. You guys are the best. You guys are the freaking best. Thank you. From now on, if, so, if I'm outside and someone's like, nobody likes you, I'll just show them this bit. I'm just showing them this, you know. You groom me, bro? Oh, Brands. That, that, is, that is legit awesome. You know, I think it's even better. Like, I think it's even cooler if, like, someone didn't really like my content at first. Like, I, I know some of you guys out there who didn't like me. Who didn't like me, my voice, the content that I made. But I grew on you, and now you actually genuinely enjoy my content. That's freaking awesome. That is so awesome that, in fact, I'm going to refresh my armpits because they are a little bit smelly. That's I'm kidding. <laughs> no, but seriously, in all seriousness, you guys are epic. <laughs> Why do you have only 200 months? I, I don't need more. I don't need more. <laughs> <laughs> let's scroll down yeah i'll scroll down a little bit what do you think of the halloween new pokemon event i don't know hey david what's up but uh once again thank you guys so much for for being here uh most of, of all like i'm so happy i could like be here in this moment to hang out with you and make this happen Thank you, Albi. That's cool. Espion Catnip. Maybe at the future one. Thank you, Ricky. Train the tips. I just want to see Mewtwo in your decks next week. Good luck. Thank you. Nighttime, yeah, sure, of course, nighttime. I'll I'll name a Pokemon after you. Let me see which one I got. Hmm. You know what? Nighttime, because you're such a beast. I'm call you call, gonna call you after this, my champ. I'm gonna call it nighttime. Look at that. There we go. Nighttime. Call this one after you, buddy. Thank you so much for the uh, tremendous support. Oh, Sam Oza. Eric's mom asked me to send this because she likes you. Hey, Eric's mom, I, I like you too. You're awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. That is awesome. Epic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, what's fast to get experience? Much Pokemon Go Plus or per hand? It's definitely faster to uh get experience by catching pokemon so i i have been using my go plus uh so you guys know over here in the distance where where this gym is right you see that team instinct gym with the snorlax over there in the distance that's my grinding spot basically and long story short um I, what i do is i i activate all the lures and um if there's literally one pokemon i cannot catch then I tend to plus it. Like, I have my go, go plus like this. So, I have my strap here at the top. Over here. I have the strap over here at the top so I can, I can straighten it out. And over here is really easy to access like this. And then I have my phone. This is actually kind of Pokemon Go in one on one reversal. So, I have my phone on my hand like this. And my go plus over here. And if it starts buzzing, I can just like click it like this. It's like an easy, it's easy to grab down here. So that's what I'm doing if, you know, so yeah. <clears throat> I hope this will help you out, give you some perspective. 
Yeah, and that's migrations tomorrow. Try to reach level 40 without a Go Plus. Oh, Albi, I will for sure. I will not use a Go Plus on my free to play account. Road to level 40 is paved with Pidgey Pie. I was actually considering doing a road to level 30 with just Pidgeys. But I don't think that'd be a lot of fun, to be completely honest with you. Like, I think people would be kind of bothered. So it's going to be like a, a little bit of an off project, I guess. I, I guess. I can log into an account with just like catching a Pidgey when I see one or something like that. I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe with an extra cell phone, you know, something, something silly. Can you name a Pidgey after me, please? I would, but I have no more Pidgeys. I, I got rid of all the Pidgeys. Yeah, David. <laughs> Do you keep e one of each Mon? No, I don't. I literally don't see the point because I already got them. Like, that's why I have my Pokedex. Like, that's why I have my Pokedex. So, yeah. How much Stardust did you get during the event? Uh, almost 1.5 million Stardust during the event. Uh, no, Eric, especially not when you use Caps Lock like that. Oh, you got 1 million Stardust, David? Nice. So the one that I'm really missing are, are just Raikou, Mewtwo, and uh, Corsola. Those are the only Pokemon I'm missing right now. And also because I've been walking so much, I actually am right now on 1.7k. So before the event, uh, before the event, I was on I think one point, like little over 1.6. And now I'm on uh, uh, 1.7. So, yeah. Oh, there's no point asking for... Okay, so there's literally no point to ask in chat to name a Pokemon after you. Because I'm not going to do it. It's that simple. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to name a Pokemon after you. Um... Today, I actually surpassed 55,000 catches. Very happy about that. Um, did a bunch of egg hatches. Uh, 49,000 Pokestop spins. So, we've done that as well. We caught 338 uh, big magic arps. 788 tiny Rotatas. No, me telling you that I'm not going to name a Pokemon after you is not mean. It's just that I don't feel like doing that. So, I don't... No, just don't don't be so butthurt about it. I'm sorry. Like, I just don't feel like it. So, you know. Does that make me mean? Sure, I'll be mean. No, I'm not... <laughs> uh. Anyway, uh, 412 Pokemon. Pikachu. Uh, oh wow, 1.3k berry already. That's pretty cool. Um, I actually recently got the. I'm not a gym player at all. Like I'm not a gym player at all. Uh, so for me to get a, to a thousand was a matter of time, but uh, it, it took me a while actually. I, I know there's people out there who got like 30,000, which I've seen, which is insane. Uh, but I'm just at a humble thousand. So yeah, I don't. I don't really invest into gym can play. Uh, th th this medal doesn't exist. Um, 11 unknowns. Uh, 112 regular rays. So yeah, there you go. Thirty thousand normal types. Oh, we got exactly 500. So that hidden on top we just made uh, put us at 500. That's really cool. I'm happy with that. Twenty thousand bird keepers. Dang. Twelve thousand punk girls. Uh, 1.5k ground types, hiker 8.22, bug catcher 11,000. 
Ooh, I thought I'd have more ghost types. This is kind of interesting. I thought I'd, I would have more ghost types, but I don't. Nice Ace Trainer medal. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Did you know if you start off a new account that you can also see the Ace Trainer badge? Like, but you can never get anything for it, you know? And over here, Kindler. Almost 12,000 water Pokemon. That's crazy. So you see the difference? Fire, water, dang. Grass. I actually kind of expected grass to be a little bit higher. But then again, we do get a lot of bug types. Uh, as far as bug types are concerned, yeah, 11,000. So yeah, there, there you have it. Electric, 1.5k. That's about what I expected. Uh, psychic. Oh, Psychic, we have a lot more. So that's why Ghost is relatively bad. Because we got more Psychic. Uh, Ice type. Yeah, this is of course going to be pretty low. Dragon type. This is the hardest one to get in the game right now. And then dark types were actually uh, caught uh, a lot of Murkrow and Sneasel. It's kind of crazy. And the fairy types. So yeah. Once again, 40 million experience. Dang. So happy. You have a lot of badges? Yeah. Spoofer? Nah. I don't spoof. You have one, th three mil Stardust. Nice. That's awesome, Cassandra. Oh, Steel. How much is my Steel on? Oh, yeah. Steel is not really high for me either. Yeah. I actually want to go to my Pokedex entries to go over some of the Pokemon. So, if you want me to... Um if you want me to look at some of the ratios of some Pokemon that I caught, then make sure you let me know in chat. Uh, and I'll take a look at it. Uh, I expect a lot of people to be like, this Pokemon, or this Pokemon, that Pokemon, or that Pokemon. Abra. Oh, that's an interesting one. I'm just going to go by the list, okay? So, Abra. <coughs> okay, not that bad. It's a 25% flea rate ratio. Uh, okay. I'm not too, uh, I'm not too, not, don't feel too bad about that. Uh, Pikachu, you saw that on my badge. Suicune, I've caught one Suicune, and with Suicune, uh, Suicune is so awful. Let me show you. Suicune is so awful, Vaporeon is better. So literally, like, I've won. Uh, but every single Suicune raid, I just run away because I feel like I'm wasting my time. Like, trying to catch this Pokemon, I'm never gonna use... Uh, I, I just run away. So, people in the Americas, enjoy yourself while you can for the ante. Because next month, it's not going to be a lot of fun. I, I can guarantee you that much. Like, Suicune is a cool Pokemon, and it's everything. Like, it's beautiful, and it's cool. Uh, but Vaporeon is better. And it's just completely underwhelming. So, that's why I just don't really bother with it. Like, Suicune is kind of harder to to beat as well like we need like five people six people or so to beat Suicune you know and yeah Suicune needs to be buffed up by like 30% Gaslies let's take a look at Gaslies Gasly oh 600 Wow, that's much higher than I thought, actually. I thought uh, Gasly would be around, like, three, 400, maybe. But, yeah. 623. Not bad. Togetic. Oh, Ditto Ratio. Yeah, let's check out Ditto. Ditto's interesting. Okay, here we go. Oh, that hurts a little bit. This might be one of the worst ratios I have. Uh, that's obviously because of Goal Plus. If you don't have a Goal Plus, this will be 100% for you. So, yeah, there you go. So, because I have to go plus, and a lot of them are actually running away, I uh, don't catch them all. So, yeah. Pidgey. Okay. You ready? It's over 9,000. No, Jinx barely spawns for me. I know some people in chat are gonna be like, 
You caught more PG than my total amount of Pokemon. Raise your hand if you're that person. <laughs> Me? Me? <laughs> 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 I'm gonna show you guys something. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys something. You thought I was crazy? No. No, 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 no. You thought I was crazy? Nah. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not even close to being crazy. I'll tell you. I'm not even close to being crazy. Allow me to show you the best players in the world. I'm going to show you two screenshots of the craziest things happening right now. Okay, here we go. The first one is, I believe, the number one player in the world when it comes down to Pidgey catches. His name is Yama1989. He has caught 39,000 Pidgey. He has... hundred and sixty million experience Bob Saget So that is that and then It doesn't end here and then we got what I believe is the most amount of PG candy in the world I might be wrong here, but this is what I've seen Have you ever seen this? I mean, you know. Thirty-one thousand Pidgey candy, you know. Um, this is a player called Fubar. He is the ranked one European player in Pokemon Go. He's from Norway. Uh, he has hundred and forty million experience. I mean, <laughs> he's done three and a half times what I have, but uh, you know. That's what it is. Uh, <laughs> a bunch of starters too, by the way, for the record. Uh, and also, I'm, I'm going to show you uh, a little fun thing as well right here. Um, you guys have seen some crazy starters in the past, obviously. Um, I'm going to show you uh, crazy. Some of you are, aren't ready for this. You're going to think it's some sort of mistake. Trust me, it ain't. If you think your local player with like 4 million Stardust is like high up there, nah, that's cute. Introducing uh, 22 million, maybe? 22? Are you feeling about that? 20, 22 million Stardust? 22? Anyone? You know? 22? What do you do with 22 million Stardust? You max it off your Pokemon. <laughs> Oh. Um, how do you get that? I don't know, Japan. Japan, right? Japan. I didn't need my self esteem, anyways. <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> I didn't need my self esteem, anyways. <laughs> That's gonna be the quote. If there's some crazy number, you're gonna be like. I didn't need my self-esteem anyways. <laughs> that guy's a known bother. Ah, go away. They don't bother in Japan. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this is a fun one, too. This is a pretty crazy one, too. Uh, I'm going to show you mine, Eevee. I've caught, caught quite a bunch of Eevees, actually. Oh, we surpassed 2,000. Hey, that's pretty cool. I'm on 2,000 Pidgeys. 
of EVs. Uh, this guy, I don't think this is the highest, uh, but uh, it's it's really cool nonetheless. It's uh, 10,000 recently. So yeah. A Porygon. Oh, you want to see my Porygon? Okay, I'll show you. 64. Not bad. Uh, we got the 64 chickens. We uh we caught 20 20 uh, we got 64 cyber chickens so you know Yeah they're so dedicated Okay let me see my Snorlax uh I'm not have a lot 27 27 Snorlax You maxed out your Shuckle? Nice Unknown. <laughs> I probably have one of the craziest ratios in the uh, in the world for unknowns. Like I've probably caught one of the most unknowns in the world. Two hundred eighteen. Uh, we can skip this song. Sudo Wudo. Let me see, pseudo wudu. Where my boy at? 59? Pseudo wudu tends to run away on me. Actually. Mystic 7 tends to run away on me. A Pidgey, I just did Pidgey. A Dratini. Ooh, my Dratini ratio is not bad. Look at that. That's pretty good. I like this ratio. I'm very happy with this ratio. So, yeah. Chansey. Uh, Chansey. Not bad either. Could be a little bit better, though. Here's my Chansey. Oh, gosh. Murkrow. Yeah, Murkrow. Okay, let's do Murkrow. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I need to say much about this, but, uh, yeah. Uh, Paris. Paras. A thousand Paris? Wow! I'm actually genuinely surprised by this about. This is crazy. Oh, Sochi! Sochi, thank you! Sochi donated $10 saying get a, a Philly cheesesteak sandwich in Philly and then later point try Domino's chili steak pizza. Let's know what you think is better. Go Valor. Shout out to the team Valor. Um, I might do it. I might do it. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. We're gonna have to see. Uh, Raichu? Oh, you guys, you're just spamming. I'm not gonna do people who spam. Tyrog. Yeah, let's do Tyrog. Tyrog is a fun one. Tyrog is a fun one. Where is he at? Right here. Hey, perfect ratio, huh? Huh? Perfect ratio. Dang. Togetic. I don't have many Togetics. C5. Dunsparce. Yeah, the thing with those sparse is it's not like hard to catch. My boy Hootoot. Oh, I'm curious about Hootoot. 642 only. Dang. I thought it was more than that. I thought it was more than that. The Centride is almost at uh, 2000 here, so yeah. Oh, I'm missing uh, Corsola. 
Thank you, Sean. Why is it doing the same song? Yeah, so I want to show you guys something funny here. I'm going to compare Genghis Khan to Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime, European regional, exclusive Pokemon. Genghis Khan, Australian, uh, exclusive Pokemon. So there was a, a period where Genghis Khan would be spawning a bunch. Right? You guys remember? So to put it into perspective, I'm going to show Mr. Mime first. Over here, Mr. Mime. I've currently caught 227 Mr. Mimes, period. 227. Genghis Khan, Australian region exclusive, 170. There was one day where I caught 100 Genghis Khan in just a single day. Crazy. So yeah. Ooh, Magikarp. I'm not sure how much Magikarp I'm on. There we go. Oh, we got the female. We got the female shiny as well. Hey, that's cool. I didn't know. We got the male and the female shiny. Happy with that. There you go. 2300 Magikarp. Ekans. I never find Ekans. Where's Ekans? <laughs> yeah, 137 only. Tada. Hmm. Oh, 6,615. That's actually kind of crazy when you think about it. 6,000 Rotatas. Eevee. Uh, I'm, I'm at like 2,000 Eevee or so. So, 2014 Eevee, 103 Vaporeon, 107 Jolteon, and 91 Flareon, so. Do you fully max out your 100% IV? Nah, I don't. It depends on the Pokemon. Fimo looks, oh, wow. 2000 Ekans? Wow, that's crazy. Level 32, you've caught more Rattata than I've caught Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Aerodactyl. 16. I was 16. That's pretty cool. Oh, Matthew. Hey. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Mareep. Some of these numbers surprise me, it's funny. 61. So one that I barely have caught ever. Jump love. Only three. Uh, I already went over Porygon. Uh, Farfetch'd. I have seven Farfetch'd, scene eight. Quillfish. Man, Quillfish is like useless. Oh, 18 out of 18. That's pretty good. I thought I had a couple of them running away. Dun, dun, dun. I'm actually curious about the baby Pokemon now. Let's take a look. Pichu, 27, 17 Cleffa, 15 Inklibuff, 33 Togepi. Um, Twenty-three Tarogue, 18 Swoochum, 26 Alakid, and 22 Magby. Machop. Mm. 
-hmm. Let me see Mama Chops. 259 <laughs> Krabby I actually imagine myself having caught quite a bit of Krabbies Oh 600 okay that's decent Golem, uh, like two or three. Three golems ever. Do you know how many 100% IV Pokemon we have? No, I don't. Horsey. Four twenty, blaze it. And Goldie nine hundred. Dang, nine hundred. Let me check the gem one starters. Bulbasaur, 146. Charmander, 139. Well, that's surprisingly high in comparison. And then Squirtle, 318. Garados. Tentacle. I barely ever see Tentacle to be completely honest. One that I always never see either is Doduo. Only 33 Doduos. It's crazy. Doduo is one I barely ever see. Uh, where's the other one? Doduo. Uh, Diglett is another one I, I barely ever see. Only 63. Uh, and then over here, Zanschroef. 93 only. Seal. One fifty-two. Should I just go by the list? I'm gonna go by the list. You guys can go out and check for yourself. We're just gonna go through everything now. Five Venusaur. Yeah, Charizard tends to run away on me. That's funny. Hey, Josh! Come to New Zealand, Rev. I might. I have an uncle who lives in Auckland, so I might. We'll have to see about that. I'm just kind of going through everything now. Uh... <clears throat> no, I said Auckland. I'm Matthew, so the super chat. We need to bring back the podcast with Mystic Gilly. Maybe. Clefairy, wow. Vulpix, 149. Most of them at one uh, particular spot, though. Jigglypuff's kind of a nightmare to catch. Zubat, oh, 888, triple eight. That's nice. I like that number. Oddish, almost 500. Paras, a thousand. Venonat, a thousand as well. Diglett. 
me out. 400. 60. Wow, perfect ratio right here. Psyduck, yeah, of course. Psyduck had to be a lot as well. Look at this monkey dancing. Monkey's dancing to the song. <laughs> He's dancing, look at him. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm gonna grab some water. You guys see Mankey dancing to the song here. It's funny. I think uh, Primeb is sort of like dancing to the beat here. <laughs> That's funny as well. <laughs> He's really feeling it, don't you see it? <laughs> Primeb is really feeling it. He's really feeling this song. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Any Pokemon you power up because you want to? Uh, ditto. Ditto for sure. Uh, I want to come back to LA, but uh, nothing really planned right now. We'll see. Oh man, I saw a shiny Ponyta. Looks really nice. The blue flames. It's going to be epic. Yeah, I hit 40 mil. I hit 40 mil. All right, thank you so much, True Inferno. <laughs> Muck. You have a 649 CP ditto. Kinda works as long as you dodge everything. Nice! You've never got a shiny, does it show up as a shiny? Uh, yeah, it shows up as a shiny. No, you have to tap on the Pokemon and then it appears as a shiny. Or not. So yeah. Yeah, I've seen Pokemon.com about the Halloween event. 
We'll have to see how that's gonna be translating into Pokemon Go. Oh, Josh Wayne. Oh, I didn't see it. When do you think Gen 3 will come? Uh... I keep saying something and then it doesn't happen. Uh... Like, it was supposed to be here already, but it's not, so... I think Halloween, maybe? We'll see. Say my name. My name! <laughs> wow! Okay, one more star, you 4,000. Nice. Nine, nine, nine. When I see Mr. Mime, I just see Holly doing the dance right now. It's funny. <laughs> Events, what info, new Pokemon. I guess I don't want to think too much into it. Sixty six lapras. Do you know what's London version of Santa Monica Pier? I don't know, but Green Park in London is really great. So, go for that. Oh, you missed me reaching level 40. It's weird that we have all these legendary Pokemon now, it's kinda cool. Ah, uh, I've pretty much done everything I wanted to do. I'll do Gen 2 at another time. You guys already know, we've officially hit 40 million experiences out of Pokemon Go. It's been crazy. Uh, above everything, I, I just want to say thank you for your tremendous support. Like, it literally means the world to me that you guys support me in the way that you guys do. So, that's literally awesome. On that note, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And see you guys back again soon with another episode of Pokemon Go. Goodbye.